sick is when you're sick you can't do anything and that's all life is about when I'm sick I feel like I can't do anything because I'm not a hundred percent I don't like going out and stuff unless I feel a hundred percent or at least ninety percent I feel it's too forced for me to do anything so I shouldn't so I need to stay home in bed doing nothing until I get over my sickness as you can see I'm sick the biggest problem I have though is that I can't sleep. I can't sleep at all, dude. Last night was my first night of getting like a solid six hours of sleep since Monday. I don't know what changed, and it sucks that something did, but it's just been hitting my immune system. Sickness is something that we can't control and that can't hurt us, that we can't even expect. That's what makes it suck. Fuck, bro. I'm gonna eat this pizza. These past days with my sickness has been like a time bomb. I have maybe six hours every day of when I'm upbeat, I'm feeling good, and I wanna do stuff. And then right after those six hours, or however long it would be, I just, I just crash. My body has been getting super cold and super hot at the same time, and I don't know which it is. That's why if I wear this, I feel good, I feel warm, but then after about five minutes, I'm already starting to sweat, so then I have to switch out of it. John was doing like a pool party thing in celebration of his birthday at this hotel that's about 45 minutes away, and it starts at four. It's three o'clock right now. I don't think I am going to go for the simple fact that if I do go, I'm going to feel really homesick the entire time. As in, nowhere in that vicinity will there be a home that I can just lay down in. Maybe a hotel room, but that's just not gonna cut it for me, in my opinion. Despite me not feeling good enough to go to a pool party for Jono's birthday, I do feel good enough to go to Marlene's house to paint, since, you know, that requires absolutely no physical activity, it's just painting. So I'm gonna do that instead. So I keep finding other stuff that has been affected by the color run. And what I just found are my Crocs. Check this out. My Crocs got pinkified because of the color run. It actually makes them look pretty cool. They used to be yellow and black because I painted an Xbox controller for my dad's birthday. Some of the yellow and black paint from the controller got on the Crocs, but now it does look pretty fresh, honestly. It worked. She opened her window. Look, it wasn't like that before. Where is she at? Oh, she's probably coming down the stairs. Oh no! What happened? Not only midgets can kiss under the mistletoe. What's good, baby? Should I open it first? Maybe. Mac and cheese, because I just kind of yes, put it in there. Water. Calling me thirsty? This has so much cheese compared to the ones I get. You got Spam? Damn, you don't got Spam. So now we're gonna paint. We're just painting, like, that's it. Mm -hmm. You wanna make it a competition? No. It's I'll a competition. Yeah, it's if it's a com I don't wanna make it a competition. Well, too bad, the competition. That means we should probably try to draw something. Like what? I don't know, but 
whoever draws that something better wins. Get that color off your face. What are you gonna do? Okay, I'm doing what I was gonna do. So is that a competition anymore? Nope. The competition is now over. <laughs> you scared me and made me drop it into the paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know exactly what I'm drawing. A banana. How did you know that? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, I was. Now I don't know if I am. Yo, I don't know how to draw. Why are you making me do this? Then you paint. It's so much. You should finger paint. <laughs> so basically, he just got his bonus, right? What's wrong? Honey. <laughs> it's bigger than you expected? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's, a, it's a one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. <sighs> oh, God. This isn't the biggest bag over the head punch in the face I ever got. God damn it! Son. If any of you are looking for any last-minute gift ideas for me, I have one. Mm. I like Frank Shirley, my boss, right here tonight. And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no-good, rotten, four-flushing, low-life, snake-licking, dirt-eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood-sucking, dog-kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat-ass, bug-eyed, stiff-legged, spotty-lipped, worm-headed sack of monkey shit he is! Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? <laughs> he paid for so much stuff with all the money he didn't have, expecting a bonus, right? For a bunch of money. And instead of getting a bonus, he got a one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. <laughs> Yo, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is such a good movie. Oh, yeah, by the way, I quit on painting because I can't paint, but she did it. Boom! <laughs> Don't scare me like that. I didn't even move, I just said boom. This is her painting. So she showed me her drawing, right? When she showed it to me, she said, it's supposed to be snow. <laughs> she looked at me and she's like, but I've never seen snow before. <laughs> Look. Stop it! <laughs> Baby. Look, this is the other one that I never showed you. Yeah! Oh my God. It scratches. Maybe hold this up and say, I've never seen snow before. It's supposed to be snow. I've never seen snow before. Hey, little mama, what you doing? I'm making you some mac and cheese. You're making me more mac and cheese? Yeah. Oh my God, little mama. That mac and cheese ain't gonna be the only thing I'm gonna eat. Are you ready? Jump on me. Oh my God, what am I crush you? <laughs> <laughs> and then fine. you were just gonna leave? You'll be fine. Do you need to be on your tippy toes? <laughs> hey, tell people why you don't wear glasses. Okay. I wore I used to wear them to school. Till one day, I forgot who it was, but this one kid made fun of me. And I never wore them again. And look at how cute she looks with glasses. My little librarian. So now we have a deal that she wears glasses more around me because she would never wear glasses. She's against it. Relationships are about doing things for each other. It's about compromise. That face looks like it wants to compromise. There's nothing downstairs, babe. No, don't you. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Stop. You're making me feel stupid. So I come over here. She's cooking some ham to put in the mac and cheese. No, you put the mac and cheese in there. Oh, you're putting the mac and... Duh. Oh my god, cooking 101. Come on now. Get me a plate. I think we need more mac and cheese. Yeah, I think so too. I'm gonna start making some more. So like, oh, hurry up then. Don't worry, I'm going super fast. Not even closing doors. Not even opening stuff. It's just going in. Oh my god, the answer. Camera on little mama. You're gonna eat... You've already eaten three mac and cheeses. God damn. More ham? More ham. More mac and cheese? More mac and cheese. 
On already some ham and mac and cheese. On already some ham and what? <laughs> Gotta add the cheese. This episode is so cheesy. The cheesiest episode yet. Ham, mac, and cheese. Yeah. Three Christmas movies later. Two ham and mac and cheeses later. I'm home and I'm super tired. And my six hour time limit has far gone. I knocked out in the third movie. I think it was Frozen. I don't even know, dude. And... Now I just need to go to sleep. Uh, good night, everybody. Sorry, you haters. Oh, oh. Hi, haters. Yeah. This is my world, so it's all in my favor. Yeah. I like all girls, yeah, all type of flavors. But that don't matter, cause I just got my baby. Sight. Pull up right there, Mercedes. Oh, I don't wanna like the baby. Oh. Fall that girl to the sun, done number one, like I'm a great. That way.